everyone and welcome to a London weekly vlog. I haven't done one of these for a really long time. In fact, I haven't spent a week in London in a really long time, but I am going for a few things and I thought I'd bring you along with me. This is the first vlog I filmed since I shared my Q&A about my YouTube career and journey. So I just wanted to start by saying thank you so much for your love and support on that video. If you haven't seen it already, definitely go check it out. I spent ages on it and I'm really proud of it. And I loved featuring you all and your lovely comments were just so overwhelming and heartfelt. So just want to say thank you before we get started. Today is Friday the 3rd of November. Tonight I'm going to the Traverse Creator Awards. Traverse are are kind of like a travel influencer marketing agency I guess and they are the people that invited me to Greece last year and Antigua earlier this year so wanted to go to the awards even though I'm not up for an award I wanted to go and see all my friends and do a bit of networking checking into an apartment today which I'll show you tomorrow I'm hanging out with my friend Charlie we're having a girls day we're seeing the little big things the theatre show which I'll talk to you more about tomorrow Sunday I've got a day to myself Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm at World Travel Market which again I'll explain a bit more later on and then I'm back home on Thursday. So I just thought I'd bring you along and show you a bit of what I get up to in between my work things. I've got a couple of events. If you are new, hi, I'm Brogan. I make travel, home and lifestyle vlogs. So please hit subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go to London. Yay. And just like that, I've arrived in London and I actually had a really big hiccup with my apartments. I booked one months and months ago and last week they cancelled on me <laughs> and I had to find something else. It's not in the most ideal location that I wanted. I wanted to be as close to the XL as possible for the convention next week, but this was the next best option I could find. And it's literally a cable car journey over where the O2 is. It's really nice. It's modern, it's clean. It's perfect for one person. So let me show you around. So front door, then we have a little area for washing, which is kind of perfect because I might want to do washing as I'm here for a week. There we go. That looks good. So I've got all of that. This is the bathroom. Again, very modern and nice. Clean, there's a bath. Lovely and modern, nice lighting. And then this is the apartment when you come in. It's got a little table so I can eat my solo dinners. A little kitchen, which is perfect. Again, nice and modern. They've even got like all the things I could need or want, like a toaster and a kettle, etc. And they have biscuits and tea, which is very appreciated. Nice big fridge as well, so I can get myself some food. This is the lounge area with a nice TV. And there's a balcony, we'll go on there in a minute but this is perfect for just me and then this is the bedroom again perfect for me got big wardrobes too if I want to hang my stuff oh yeah they've even got hangers up there great and there we go there's the view from this side and then there's a lovely view on the other side when I get the lift I found this on booking.com so I'll leave a link to it below if you're looking for an apartment right by the O2 this is really nice it definitely was on the expensive end for what I wanted to spend but because the other apartment cancelled on me and booking.com could see it wasn't my fault they actually price matched for me so it ended up not being quite as expensive but they do have uber boat here as well which i feel like i want to try so we're gonna give that a go at some point this week can take the cable car it's a really nice location i feel like i've moved into london weirdly for a week <laughs> this is really cool so i'm gonna unpack all my stuff that'll probably take me 15 20 minutes and then i need to glam myself do my makeup i had my hair done this morning but as you can see, some of the curls need zhuzhing. First night, I am ready. I've got this dress on I bought in the sale from Fat Face. I don't think it's available anymore, but it's a really lovely velvety sort of green thing. My coat is really old, like a good three years old from Oasis. I love it. Here's how my makeup's looking. I've got a little bit of eyeliner on. I forgot my setting spray. Of course I forgot something. It's been a bit chaotic recently, guys. Um, it's gonna take me 45 minutes to get over to the bar, which is in Paddington, and I'm at the O2, so it's like a bit of a journey, but uh, it's all right. That's what tubes are for. So I've just uh, got off the tube, and I'm walking through Paddington Station area, and I found my first Christmas lights. Look, how cute is this? First Christmas lights. Oh, that was easy. This is the bar, Huckster. That's what it's called, and I'm very early, so <laughs> we will see how I get on. It's a little quite a few years ago and we're glad to be back again today. It's two years ago, I had no Instagram, 
going YouTube. It's like 11 o'clock now. I barely filmed anything. I had a really great time. I know loads of people in our community of like travel industry people. So there are lots of PRs that I'd worked with. The people that I went to Antigua with were there. I also chatted to just a few travel PR and agencies and then loads of my content creator friends. Some of them were up for awards. So it was really fun to root for them and cheerlead and see them. And basically we're all going to be crossing paths next week at the world travel market conference exhibition thing it was really fun to see everybody so had some drinks had some food just chatted all night i literally feel like i've been speaking for like five hours solid so i was ready to come back and it was actually really easy to navigate back here i've spoken to ben on the phone i've put up some stories and that's it really that's day one so short and sweet but i'm gonna go to bed have a shower take this makeup off and um tomorrow i'm gonna hang out with my friend charlie so i'll tell you more about that in the morning good morning it's saturday i have spent the morning basically relaxing in bed replying to all your comments on my q a video and chatting to my mum and then some friends now i'm dressed and ready i'm wearing a gilet from asda jumper was very old Sainsbury's I've got a pair of black jeans on and my Adidas ultralight boost I don't really like jeans at all you never really see me in jeans but it felt like the most practical comfy outfit because we're out all day now so it's about 11 o'clock and I'm going to meet my friend Charlie over at Liverpool Street Station which is about a 30 minute tube or it's an hour on the ferry boat thing i don't know if it's uber boat or it just says ferry on my app i'm thinking of trying to get the ferry because it's not raining it's like it's a little gray but it's it's nice outside and i'm not meeting her till one and it is only 11 so the ferry takes an hour so it's double the time of the tube but i thought it'd just be a nice experience and we go straight past the tower of london so i'm gonna take you with me so charlie is a friend that i've known for about a year and a half now and she's wonderful i actually met her in epcot in walt disney world last year and she she was so sweet and kind and we just stayed really good friends since so she's been to stay with me in Bournemouth and I see her when I come to London sometimes and she's just really lovely we've been on a spa day together and everything she's great so I am really looking forward to spending some time with her and we are going to go shopping I want to go to the Joni clothing pop-up store they have one just for like four or five days I love Joni clothing but they're only online so I really want to see if they have a changing room and I can see the clothes in real life because sometimes I try things on at home and have to send it back so i want to do that we want to go to humble crumble i have shown humble crumble recently in one of my london vlogs with benj but charlie asked if we could go and i was like yes i'm definitely keen for humble crumble it's that viral pink pot crazy crumble topping thing so we're doing that we're also going to get dinner together we're going to burger and lobster for dinner which i've never been to before and then tonight we're seeing a theater show now charlie loves theater as much as me and benj and i do reserve most of my shows to see them with benj for that experience but i I said charlie we have to see a show together and there's one that i really wanted to see and she was keen for as well and it's called the little big things now i have shared this story before but i grew up with henry fraser and his brothers and the show is around henry and his life he is an incredible inspirational man and honestly you should go and check out his story if you don't know him already but essentially he was involved in a tragic accident on a holiday where he was paralyzed from the neck down and he overcame this like new life that he had to embrace and he became a mouth artist and he paints these beautiful pictures and art with just his mouth with the paintbrush in his mouth it's amazing he's gone on to do so much and he does a lot of like interviews and he's on tv and he has a book he has two books actually his life and story has been turned into a theater show called the little big things which is currently on the west end it's been doing so well that they extended the dates and the reviews are glowing i think the one thing that i noticed that a lot of people are saying is just the disability um visibility is that the right phrasing on stage because the main actor that plays henry is in a wheelchair and i just think that the actual stage itself is like a big um uh, open so you have the stage in the middle and the seats around it so it's really easy to like see everything and yeah i just have heard amazing things so i will share a review with you later but it's going to be super emotional for me because i obviously grew up and know henry i haven't known him in recent years i have actually seen him at a charity event a few years ago and i have also spoken to one of his brothers recently but i don't see and sp spend time with them anymore now in our adult years but 
but for most of my childhood for years and years and years growing up we used to hang out together in the summer they had a holiday home that was two doors down from us and we used to spend time with them play games and it was just very sweet their surname is fraser henry fraser and that's where my mum got my brother's name from as well fraser so spelt the same with an s anyway that's that that's the story and that's why i feel so passionate about wanting to see the show i know it's going to make me cry so this is the building where i'm staying so i think this is where you get on the ferry it looks promising so this is uber boat but you don't book it through the app you just tap in and out like a tube oh my goodness this is so nice i'm gonna sit at the front here okay this is honestly a vibe i like this a lot it's really smooth it's really flat it goes like fairly fast, but not too fast, you know? I think it cost about £9.60 to get from here to Town Bridge, Town Pier. Yeah. really like that it tells you which stop you're going to next. Look at the view. Absolutely glorious. Just in case you're interested, this is the journey, so we're about halfway. And it's actually a lot quicker than I thought. I didn't realise this is a 20 minute walk. So yeah, Canary Wolf Pier, so next. There's Tower Pier, where Tower London is, the Tower Bridge. That was honestly such a great experience. And you can sit outside at the back if you want to. I love that, in the sunshine. You can have a little look into that if you come to London and you want to do something nice along the river, you just want a little journey. And it's such a glorious day, I'm so lucky. London, I sometimes feel like so hit and miss. Sometimes I have great days here and sometimes I'm like ready to go back to the seaside and be in Bournemouth. And I really do love being where I am but I do love coming up to the city and being able to do these things and have these experiences I never take it for granted I think it's amazing that I have such an amazing city not far from me only two hours by train so yeah I love it so there is Tower Millennial Pier and this is where the Tower of London is so I'm not doing this today I did it when I was a kid but I don't remember it I actually would love to do it at some point again maybe with Benj because he loves his history as we know there's actually a really nice Starbucks here I was just gonna go in and see if they have one of those mugs that I like you know the we are here mugs I'm just gonna have a little look yeah they've got the nicest we are here mugs although I will say there's not a lot of detail on them not like the Disney ones they're quite generic but they do also have a really cute decoration too Christmas decoration which I like. I haven't had any breakfast, so I think I'm gonna pick up one of these. Brie and cranberry for catcher. Get them to toast it for me, that sounds amazing. Okay, I've come upstairs. The table is a bit dirty, that was not me. But I just thought it'd be quite nice to do a little bit of people watching out here and eat my breakfast, well, lunch. So I've got my focaccia in there and I've got a chai latte with oat milk. Didn't have it dirty today, but I did get a shot of vanilla in it. This is the Four Seasons Hotel and it is absolutely incredible look at this oh love it i want to stay here one day guys 100 years they're celebrating wow whenever i'm in the city i'm usually here for work or an event or something and i'm normally in and out pretty fast i don't always get a lot of time just to myself to wander around appreciate the landscape the architecture the history the weather's glorious today it's like nice and warm not too hot not too cold well ignore the roadworks but look how nice this tree is in the sun the noise is not as pretty but love it seriously look at these colors glorious i can't stop looking at these colors now will i shut up about the colors of autumn probably not so i'm at liverpool street station waiting for charlie and our first stop is we're going to go to spitterfield's market which is where humble crumble is okay humble crumble here we come and it's always very busy so we just have to see oh my god is this the queue <laughs> i think it might be build your crumble i would like specials this is what we want sticky toffee apple i'm gonna have treacle shortbread did you go 50 50 yeah okay 50 50 sticky toffee sauce hot custard did you have any garnishes or no oh you are crushed meringue oh god i'm gonna be jealous i need to do the same and this is what it looks like i'll let you know what i think of it but i've got hot custard this time because last time i was here i got cold custard and it was like the summer so now it's a colder day so we've had our humble crumble it was absolutely delicious loved it didn't we it was great we loved it i feel sick but it was great oh yeah we ate we ate a lot i would recommend the hot 
hot custard. That was nice. Now we're on our way to the Joni clothing pop-up store that I mentioned earlier. I haven't seen their clothes in real life before other than ordering online, so that would be nice as we're in the area. And then we'll just mooch. Just mooch. I need a bit of makeup, so I wanted to have a little look at stuff. And then we're going on the Lizzie line, my favourite. Here's the Joni clothing store pop-up thing. It looks really nice. We've got a lovely little display. I don't know how much I'll film in there, but I'm going to go and have a little look. Okay, they have loads of nice things. I really love Joni. Oh, this is a jumpsuit and it looks really nice in here. Obviously, this will already be done when I share this video. Oh, they even have like makeup bags and stuff. That's so cute. Love. So we were very successful in Joni. Well, I loved a dress, but they didn't have my size. So I might have to look at that online, but at least I've tried it and seen it. But we both bought the same jumper, so we're matching. We've got cute jumpers matching. <laughs> Although we got different colors, we got different colors. Um, but yeah, it was really nice in there. The, the staff were so lovely and they um, it finishes today. So we came at the right time, but I do really love Joni clothing. I was just saying to Charlie that the quality of their pieces, like I've got a couple of dresses from like three or four years ago that are still going strong. And I think sometimes you pay a bit more more, but you're investing in that quality that you know is going to last you're going to bring it out every season every year etc now we're going to walk to Selfridges there's just a couple of makeup bits I've got my eye on I'm nearly there with like wedding makeup stuff but I need a good powder and I want to buy some new eye makeup brushes so we're just gonna have a little mooch in there because we've got probably about an hour or so to kill haven't we and then we're going for dinner so lovely we've come into Selfridges and they have a Christmas shop Oh my goodness, we are there. <laughs> How cute. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, Funko Advent Calendar. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. I feel very festive. What a lot of uh, thought and love that's gone into it. Cute. We're looking in the stocking filler section now, which is one of my favorites, because you can try like small sizes of things. They have so many good bits. And I love it. Oh, I do want to try this Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I, I want the light work version, not this version. Well, that would make a really nice gift. Um, but I'm looking at getting the Laura Mercier powder. You can't quite appreciate it fully because it's not dark enough, but the Christmas lights are so pretty with the stars hanging down. We are walking to Burger and Lobster where we're having dinner. So we're walking through Skate West End, which is a little park, which they obviously have an ice rink, but it's like loads of trees and light. It's so festive and pretty. Oh, look at that. You can go up on the little bridge and take a picture up there that ice rink goes round there's a thing in the middle oh, I wish I was good at ice skating oh my god all the leaves are so cute <laughs> I love that. Like that looks nice ice yeah right oh look the leaves look lovely what a cute space there's a little bar here's where we're going for dinner burger and lobster it looks very nice we've made a reservation oh I need this a lot actually oh this looks so good I got a side salad I got the baby back ribs the lobster mac and cheese so i'm having like starters as a main and then charlie's got the lobster brioche roll which looks insane yum dinner was lovely really really nice i loved having a little bit of everything with my sides and starters and now we're off to the theater so we'll let you know what we think at the end i'm definitely gonna cry hopefully i want to buy a pin if they have any merch Nice, a gorgeous stage. I feel like any seat you have in here is gonna be good. Good morning, it's Sunday and yesterday or last night I got in really late. I was absolutely soaked. I had to change tubes a few times because I planned on taking the cable car over, but the weather was too bad. I saw some fireworks from a distance, my first London firework weekend, but not really. But I wanted to give you a little review of the show because it was absolutely beautiful. I knew I would cry. I didn't know if that was just from a personal level from knowing the family, but it was really beautifully done. The story was told in such a way that was so easy to understand. And I feel like it was one of those shows where less is more because it was a stage in the middle with the whole of the audience around. It didn't have a massive set by any means, but it didn't need it. And the actors, the actual cast were fantastic. And it really surprised me because it made me laugh a lot. Again, 
I don't know if it's because I just know the characteristics of some of the brothers. They had them spot on and I just found it really wholesome, really beautiful, a real reminder of how precious life is and how we should, in Henry's words, accept and adapt and just keep on keeping on. It was a real beautiful message about embracing life and having gratitude for what we have, which is something I try and practice regularly, but seeing it in that story, in that show, just hit so hard it was so gorgeous like such a lovely show couldn't fault it the music the soundtrack was beautiful as well really loved a lot of the songs i don't always come out of a theater show and want to re-listen to the soundtrack but i know that they've recorded it i'm not sure if it's available yet but i do know that it's um coming so i will be listening to some of the songs they're so lovely some of the lyrics and the words oh it was very 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 good if you get the chance please go and see it it's been extended until the 2nd of march due to popularity i did buy a laura messier powder that i'm trying out because i'm not loving my charlotte tilbury powder i'm loving a lot of charlotte tilbury products but don't love the powder so much um, and I said to my friend Charlie, do you recommend a translucent powder? And she said Laura Mercier. So that's why I picked that up in Selfridges. I also picked up an Urban Decay setting spray because I left mine at home. Just looking at my stuff over there, I don't think I had anything else to show you apart from Joni clothing. So as you know, we popped into the pop-up store. I tried on a few things, but nothing was quite right. But I did buy this jumper, which I'll be honest, I don't think I would have bought this online. But feeling it in person, the quality, I really loved it. Oh, just whacked my elbow on the table there it says reading for pleasure which is so lovely and it was 49 pounds so it was definitely on the pricier end i got it in extra large because this is the kind of thing i want to wear with leggings in fact i might wear it this afternoon but it is so soft but not too thick it's like perfect i love the length of it and charlie got the baby blue version which looked lovely on her skin and her hair it was so nice on her but i got this darker green color which we all know i love dark green so yeah i really love this reading for pleasure today's plan is i actually booked a ticket to the Disney 100 exhibition just for me today. I went a few weeks ago, filmed a whole vlog with my friends Gary and Adam and obviously Benj, and uh, you can go and watch that if you want to, but I didn't feel like I saw everything. We rushed around it fairly fast. It was quite crowded because it was the actual 100th day. I didn't get to read and see everything because I didn't want to hold everybody up. So I told myself that I'd come back on my own and seeing as I'm right here, the uh, event I'm going to next week is also at the XL, so I'm literally so close. So I thought I'd go, and also I can suss out the actual XL and see where WTN is going to be, what travel market. Um, but yeah, it's just across the water, so we will be taking the cable car over. And my outfit, you probably have already kind of seen it, but this um, Snow White top I bought in Primark at the last London day that Benji and I did. So I thought this was perfect to wear. And this is an old Primark skirt as well. It's a midi skirt, so I'm going to wear this with my trainers. I do have a jumper that I can throw on the top too. Oh good, I can see that the cable car is running. Oh, my lift's here. Look at that, it's glorious, let's go. Here's what my outfit's looking like. Comfy, practical, good for walking. Need to feed myself, need to do a food job today. I'm excited for a little solo day again. And then tomorrow is when things like kick in because it's full on for World Travel Market. Why is this so exciting to me? Oh my God, I'm buzzing. <laughs> okay, it's very sleek and nice. Okay, the entrance is around the side. This is so cool. I don't know what that is, but there's a huge statue there. Okay, up, up and away. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Anyone know what this is? I'll have to look into this later. I can't even see it, it's so bright. So I think this is like the highest point and it doesn't actually feel that high. I mean, I'm not afraid of heights, but it's really smooth. It's actually not too fast. I think it'd be so pretty at night. There's the O2 one of my apartments somewhere around here. I think it must be this one. Wow. You can see the Uber boat I took yesterday. This is such a great position to be. Yesterday I did the boat, today I'm doing the cable car. This is really fun and I get to do this for the next three days hopefully, weather permitting. Right, we're almost at the other side. It's taken about 10 minutes. I have done it before but I just don't remember it all that well. But this is perfect because the XL is literally just there. That wind is pretty noisy. Um, but look at the O2, it looks so cool. Oh, what a journey. I hope I get to do that back later because 
That was nice. I haven't eaten anything yet and it's quarter to 10. My time slot is 10 a.m. So I'm gonna try and grab like a pastry or something. Because I've already seen the pre-show thing, I've come in early, the guy just let me straight through. And look at this, there's so much more space doing it this way. This is my second time round. I'm not gonna film the whole thing again, but last time this was chaos, I couldn't see anything. So now I've been able to read the signs and just get a better grip. I'm only in the first section and I've already seen things that I completely missed before because it was just so busy in here and we just wanted to move through the crowd. Yeah, I really love it. I love Disney so much. So for me, like getting a grip of all the behind the scenes, the early days, the history is like, oh, it just ma makes my heart happy, you know? So this time round, I actually did it in the order that the films go in. It does jump from 1992 to 2009, but I've done the whole of that section there in order and I've read every board and that has taken me 25 minutes. So already, I'm obviously, I, only, I think we were only in here about an hour, an hour and a half last time. So I'm definitely taking a lot more time. This is so much quieter than when I was here the first time. <laughs> and I'm listening to all of these boards. I definitely did not appreciate the music room as, as much the first time. I listened to every single screen and it's all about the way that they use props to make sounds for things. I totally, totally skipped all that last time. So that was really good. I think coming around here a second time has got me thinking so much about how Walt was like such a massive innovator. Like he was pushing for animatronics and he really was pushing the tech. Although we know the stories and see the movies and see the parks today, the actual history and all the things he achieved and his creativity is actually pretty mind blowing. So yeah, it's making me think a lot more. This to me is so amazing. If you get the chance, you should like pause and read this. But this is the concept drawing for Disneyland. And this is what they took to New York to show the bankers. So reproduction obviously of the original, but the first concept drawing. This entrance is like that and the train running through. You've got this middle bit with the flag. We know this is Main Street. Although this castle is very different. It's ginormous. The carousel is like inside the castle bit, which I never really sort of thought of before. Wow, this room is so much more enjoyable. And I didn't even notice this statue before of Walter Mickey. Look how lovely it is. This is interesting. They've definitely added to this. There's a few extra things in this merch area. They have some of the um, plush, the special ones that are made by this brand. And they're 45 pound. Some of them are 40, some of them are 45. They are amazing quality. These are definitely like collector's items. I like Minnie, but I'd want Mickey too. And for 45 pound, I think not. Sorry, I'm so blue, but I'm just walking out. I had a really lovely time going again. I'm really glad I did. I was two hours, including looking in the shop. Didn't buy anything again. I think the book is quite nice, but I'm never gonna look through it. And for 35 pound, couldn't justify it. But I absolutely loved the exhibition again. It's like the exit area. So much nicer today than coming on the uh, 100th day. I'm gonna be back here tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday for World Travel Market, but that's me wrapped on the Disney 100 exhibition. I think my plan is I'm gonna go back over on the cable car and I'm gonna go and take myself for lunch somewhere because they have loads of restaurants around there and then I'll be spending the afternoon back at the apartment. So I've come to Pizza Express and I've had some dough balls and I'm reading my book. I'm about to eat a pasta. This is the polo pesto, it's amazing. I'm back in the apartment. I've put my food away because I did a little Tesco shop just for some cereal, milk, a sandwich for tomorrow just in case I don't have time to stop for lunch and I'm gonna sit on the sofa I will be honest the sofa is not very comfortable nor is the bed there's no full-length mirror either oh and the shower head is like well the, there's water sort of splatting out of the top which is a bit of a nightmare I've tried to fix it like push it down anyway I've sent pictures to the owner speaking of shower I am actually going to wash my hair and dry it and do it nicely for uh, tomorrow so I'll do that this evening but for now I'm going to read my Kindle I really want to finish red white and royal blue I've been reading it for like two months and I don't love it although the ending is starting to like pick up the final 20 to 30 percent is uh, improving but the rest of the book has been a snooze I've not enjoyed it at all so I wouldn't recommend that one but I don't want to give up on books like if I've committed this far plus there's a movie and I really want to finish the book before I watch the movie um, but anyway I'm unpacking my bag with all my bits and 
that's all there is to tell you really i'm just gonna have a nice cozy afternoon by myself so i have been working this afternoon on my media kit and just prepping all my notes for all my different meetings tomorrow so world travel market is this massive exhibition convention event thing for anybody in the travel industry you have to have a ticket to go so you have to apply for like a press pass or if you're a journalist or if you work in the industry whatever and then you can request meetings of people so i've got meetings with tourist boards hotels and then i have panels i want to go to and events tomorrow i've got an event with oman in the evening like late afternoon and then i'm going to the savoy with the moroccan tourist board so it's just going to be so chaotic back to back full on tomorrow is my busiest day tuesday is a little bit less and then wednesday i have no meetings in right now which is great that's what I want. It's three days of just full on and the actual XL, like the halls of WTM is so overwhelming. It's huge. I'll try and film like a little bit of it for you, but I know it's a bit worky, so I probably won't do too much, but I'm enjoying being in my little apartment. I've spoken to Benj loads. We've been on FaceTime and chatting and texting and phoning each other, like sending each other pictures of our food and what we've been doing. Oh, I've also done a wash. So I've got loads of clothes drying around the uh, apartment. Anyway, I will see you in the morning. All right, see, this is the entrance thailand i've got a little bus out the front oh look at the plane oh i'm a little bit nervous now guys successfully took the cable car over so thank goodness because it doesn't run in bad weather so it looks like it's gonna be a nice day and i've shared some stories and i'm ready to roll yeah i'm really nervous it is quite intimidating going to meetings that with people you've not met before you know but hopefully they convert into opportunities and we can go on more trips and show you more destinations and do more fun things. This is like the behind the scenes of how those things kind of come into fruition. Is that the right word? Fruition? Am I saying that right? <laughs> As you can see, it's just so busy. It is so busy. <laughs> First stop is the media centre because I am media. <laughs> oh wow, it's so cute. It's sponsored by Visit Greece. You can definitely tell. <laughs> So I've been here for about an hour. My friend Holly and I just had a little look round together. But honestly, guys, it's just ginormous. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just huge. Every like destination and country is like represented. Let me show you the map. Um, yeah. Is this not the most overwhelming thing you've ever seen? <laughs> so it tells you the different continents. So this is obviously Europe. And then I've got a few meetings in here. So this is just like one of the halls. Canary Islands. Wow. And a lot of the halls look like this and all the different countries are represented. So I've just come to sit down with my laptop to prep my notes ready for my first meeting. And I can't even tell you how overwhelming it is. I almost feel a little bit claustrophobic and it makes me feel like there's just so many people it is just a lot so I'm glad I'm like I'm taking my time with it I'm glad I've got some meetings booked to give me some purpose and I've got a couple of panels I want to go to but as someone who's like quite new to doing this I mean they've been running it for 43 years so it's definitely not new but for me it's new this, I, this is my second time and I will say that like it's a lot of press <laughs> What you will see during my presentation is that if you look at Instagram only, you might miss a very important part of the opportunity. Okay, it's now about half past three. I've finished all my meetings. I went to a panel as well about influencers. I'm feeling really good. I'm really excited. I've got a potential press trip with a dream destination, which is like very exciting. WTM day one almost done today was good i definitely found the morning really overwhelming i was a bit nervous but all my meetings went well i went to a panel i went to an event and it was all just really successful managed to get the cable car back over and now i'm changed and dressed in i actually got this dress in asda george asda absolutely love it I picked up a few sort of staple dresses and I love this. I thought this would be nice for the Savoy. I'm very much looking forward to going for dinner tonight with Morocco. They are the main sponsor of the uh, WTM event. So I was very excited to be invited for dinner. And it means I don't have to cook for myself. But I've been to Morocco a long time ago, 12 years ago. Morocco has very beautiful food and tea. I hope we get tea because I have like strong memories of loving the tea. Anyway, that's a bit random. Um, that's just gonna have to do, I think.
Wow, look at the view. So pretty. Just got my walking home buddy. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's half hanging out the bed. Good morning, everyone. I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed today. Like, I have so much to do. My brain actually really hurts. Last night was so lovely at the dinner. Did I film? Did I tell you how nice it was? Oh my goodness, honestly, I came back so late. It was so late, it was like half 11. The dinner at the Savoy was gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. I had a really lovely time. There were like eight of us that are all influencer travel friends and it was just so nice. This morning, I've been up for about two hours trying to get a load of work in. I've still got like honestly so much to do. This is my dress. This is another Asda one. Hold on, let me just move this. Another little Asda thing that I found in store recently. Black boots, tights. I, I'm feeling like, what am I even doing? I've got so much in my diary all the time and... <laughs> <sighs> I haven't had a chance to chat to you guys all day. It's been really successful. I was not expecting today to be quite as good as yesterday, but I've met some really wonderful PRs. Actually really lovely, like really good potential opportunities on the horizon. I've got a lot of emails to do now to send over my media kit and stuff, but it's been really good. Just said hello to Sri Lanka and Mauritius. I've been to Mauritius when I was a kid. Um, I'd love to go back to Mauritius and just loads of countries I've got on my radar and ones that we're visiting on our world cruise so it's just been very good I'm very happy. I'm walking through the middle at the moment so as you can see every single hall has got loads of different uh, continents and countries and all sorts. I might treat myself to a Costa, I quite fancy a nice coffee. I have not been a great vlogger but I've just arrived at Canary Wharf and there's a bar called Rocket here. This is where we're spending the evening with Hamburg, visit Hamburg. So I might not film an awful lot, but I'm here. I'm aware that this vlog is definitely not my best work, but I hope you can get a feel for sort of how the few days have been going. Today is Wednesday, it's almost 9 a.m. I'm wearing a plain black, another Georgia Asda dress. I bought three and I've worn all three, I think, haven't I? It's got like a nice bow at the front, floaty, comfy, black tights, black boots, black sheet day, all in black got my poppy on my lanyard. Today is not as busy. I have a couple of panels, a creators networking lunch, a media center thing going on, but no meetings. So today I'm just going to walk around again, speak to any of the brands I didn't get a chance to say hello to. I emailed all the brands I've spoken to so far so that I'm up to date with that. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bit more chilled. Yesterday was brilliant. It was one of those days that I didn't think would be a success, but actually turned out to be a good one. Last night at the, I don't think I filmed a lot, did I? I don't think I filmed anything. Went to the Hamburg event i was only there for about an hour i was really tired had a drink i didn't eat, i didn't even drink any alcohol i just had a coke came back and then i did all my work and went to bed about 10 o'clock so um i was just feeling a little bit like my social battery was done it is half past two i have filmed nothing today i have been in panels and chats i went and said hello to the team at las vegas i'd love to go back to vegas i haven't been with benj and it's his 30th next year well it's mine as well but we already have plans for mine. And I'm just waiting outside of a room to go in there for the panels. There's a couple of panels I want to attend. And then I'm going to a stand for drinks. I'm also a bit peckish. We did a lunch networking thing, but it was very much like canapé style. It wasn't like a big lunch. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> and uh, what's happened? Went to the panels I want to watch listen to Louis Theroux, hung out with some friends, and then I went for dinner with my friend Holly, and we were there for like three hours just chatting. But now I need to go back, have a shower, and pack my things because I'm leaving in the morning. So we're pretty much nearly wrapped on my little London adventures. I don't know how long this vlog has been. <laughs> I feel like I haven't vlogged an awful lot over the last few days, but that's what I'm up to. Good morning, it's Thursday, it's the final day, and I'm going home. I have packed up all my stuff along here, and I've got my suitcase ready to go there. So I'm just cleaning a little bit. I've emptied the bins, I'll take them downstairs. I always try and leave an Airbnb or an apartment in the way that I found it. I will always sort of leave the bed like that to air. So it's not quite made because there's no point, but also they can tell I've made an effort to not leave it in a horrible mess. And then I've even put like the plant pots back because I moved all those so I could have my laptop there. So I put it back exactly how I found it. And I used this little basket down here. I, oh, I'm not seeing on this one. I used that for my makeup in the bathroom. So 
you know, making do with what I've got. And then I've put it back where it was. <laughs> so that is that. But I hope you've enjoyed being with me for this London vlog. I'm very excited to go home today, see Benji and Bonnie. It's actually Benji's birthday tomorrow. So tonight we're going out for a date night steak dinner. Tomorrow we're going to a gig. Saturday night we're going to the cinema. We're having some like low key, lovely, cozy days at home. That's what Benji wanted. So a lovely couple of days and weekend. I'll be editing this video ready to go up. So you're seeing it on Monday. So over the weekend, I'm also filming a wedding haul, which you'll see later this week, if you're watching the same week that it's gone up. Wedding haul where I'm gonna show you all of the things I've been buying for our wedding day and trip. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but I think that's everything. So thank you so much for coming along with me. I know it's been a bit of a like sporadic random vlog, but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what I did. I have some really fun videos coming up too. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, give it a little like, leave me a friendly comment. I love replying to your comments and reading them. And please do go and check out my recent YouTube and career Q&A that I worked with with YouTube themselves. I would absolutely love your support on that if you got this far and you haven't seen that video already. I'll leave it linked at the end. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. <laughs>